Anton Scoro, Five Grappling, Fist to Cuff Radio, Vinny, Vinny Magalhaes. Brother, how you been? Been pretty good. You know, I just disappeared for about like uh, three years. This is the last ATCU, but it's like, uh, you know, I'm back. And bigger than ever. I wouldn't say bigger than ever. I was 272. I lost like 20 pounds. I weighed 252 today, and like I lost 20 pounds over the last eight weeks. That's how heavy I was and how much weight I lost like this fast. So, Is this the heaviest you've uh, competed at? Uh, no, I don't think so. Like, well, as far as ATC, yeah. Even when I won, I won the same weight class, right? I was weighing 226. I could have made weight for like, you know, under 99, but I had a fight coming up, so I didn't want to be cutting weight twice, like in a short period. This time it was just like un undoable for me. Like, you know, when, I, when Mo told me, like, okay, gotta make a decision, are you gonna go under 99, which initially that's what I was going to, or you wanna go over? It's like, Mo, let me weigh myself. And at that time, when he asked me to put that pressure to like this, make the decision, I was weighing like 260 still. It's like, uh, you know what? Let me just sweep with Kyle. Kyle Bang, like, you know, he's my teammate. And I'm like, let me just sweep with Kyle. He wants to go down, and I have no choice but to stay up. How do you, uh, how do you fare against the competition, do you think, in your eyes at the heavyweight division versus minus 99? Uh, it's a trick question. You know, like, of course, like, you know, you look at this bracket this year, like, you know, I don't have the bracket, but you have, like, you know, the 16, like, guys are lined up to do it. You got, like, five former champions, like, a bunch of upcomers that have made a name for themselves, like, in a grab like world. So it's one of those things. It's hard for you to, like, see where I stack up. Like, you know, I haven't competed in ATC. Under these rules, like, and I feel like I do really well, but I haven't competed in ATC like, three years. Some of these guys have never even done ATC. But as far as me competing where I do better, I feel like it's over 99. That's what I want. That's when I want gold, you know, and uh, so I have to say that's the best division for me. All right, Vinny. So being a previous champion and obviously competing at ADCCs, how do you feel about being a part of something like this? Because this is the biggest ADC. This is the biggest grappling event. I mean, this is essentially now the pinnacle of the sport. Uh, it's just still like amazing to be considered part of like one of the best in the world, like, you know, in, uh, in grappling. I mean, I made it to the top 16, right? So it's like, eh, I gotta be one of the best. But it's like, uh, it's different the pressure that I have nowadays that I had in uh, 2009, that was my very first one. That was like, first of all, when I got called, I cried, right? So I got invited for 2009 and I cried. It's like, dude, I was like, you know, that was my dream to compete in ATC. And then I got two medals, like, okay, I think I secured my spot for the following year. And the following year, actually, I won gold. So pretty much, oh, I, got, I think I secured my spot for the rest of my life. And as long as I want to compete, as long as I'm healthy, I can compete. But uh, this year, there's, the, there's pressure, of course, as always, but I don't feel the same pressure as I felt in 2009. Right now, it's like, you know, I feel like I have the experience. Uh, I feel like I can still do well against, like, younger guys and all those things. The, the other pressure that I had, too, like, in 2009 is that I was, like, my athletic prime, and I was, like, 25. You know, now I'm 38, so, like, there's no pressure on me whatsoever. You know, I have done a lot of ATCs. That's my seventh, I believe, and at 38. So it's like, well, you know, how much pressure do I have? Oh, because you won? I won, like... 11 years ago so you know there's no pressure whatsoever i love it so Vinny, uh in a perfect world is there anybody you would like to see in the first round uh, you know i don't know how they even are sitting this bracket because they have like teammates uh for the first time i think we have like uh six guys over like you no know, three teams so they those guys have to meet each other like in a second round right i have no idea how they're going to be sitting this so i, I can't even say like who i want to face first because depending on how they set the bracket i could be still face like guy that stop seat so i don't know i'm the only guy without one of the few guys without teammates in that bracket so i don't know vinny said he don't care whoever it is bring it i mean your goal like as a competitor no matter who you are you should also get the gold right so why would it be hand picking it's like whoever's available like you know it could be gordon first match i don't know like but it's one of those things like uh, you can be too picky who you want first so you want it easy one you want the toughest one so you can get the toughest one out of the way so it, it's hard like you know it's whoever's whoever's there all right well we know who's in the super fight we know it's gordon ryan versus andre galvao uh for you Vinny, i have to ask just like i've asked everyone who are you picking uh, who I want to win or who I think is going to win. Let's go both. Okay, so it's a tricky question no matter what. You know, you don't know like how... Uh, Gavon is like, he's really smart on these, these rules, right? I'm going to judge by like Warden's last match. Uh, believe it or not, that's how I thought. That's how I kind of studied that match. I felt like if that was a match with a point and time limit, Felipe would have done better. I'll explain why. He had like some situation like the bear trap, right? Why would we waste energy for a sweep if there's no points? Just waste energy, right? He got taken down, so what? There's no points, I don't care about getting taken down. Now, he put that situation in a term that there are points, and I feel like that's where Galvão can also like do well in this match. Now, he can score the points, and uh, would Andrea, like, would uh, Gordon be able to like, you know, change if like once he's down a score on the score uh, card? So, 
I feel like Galvan has a chance. So it's not as lopsided as people think it is. Gordon is the favorite, though. For me, submission would go towards Gordon. If it goes on points, Galvan takes it. You heard it here. Vinny, Anton, Anton, Vinny, whichever way. It doesn't matter. Watch this guy. Check it out. Thank you. Thanks, brother. Always appreciate you, man.